Well, it's that time again. Time for a little bit of Rum Island. Uh, all I've already got planned today is is to uh, build the bomb. Finish finish researching that up, get that built, and uh, solve our problems with it. Once we get that bomb, we are going to drop a nuke on this weather controller and get rid of the permanent fog. And then hopefully the long night will just disappear. That's, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. That's, that's all I've got planned with that. This long night is gone for 1.3 years. And uh, I'm getting a little bit pissed off with it. But yeah, Rum Island is about to head into the Atomic Era. Oh, I think we're going to start off by murdering a load of Flamingo though. That's, a good, that's always a good start. Someone did also point out that all this slate pavement is technically flammable. And uh, yeah, they were right. <laughs> so if my base does get hit by incendiary mortars, my whole base will go up in flames. That could be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Imagine how powerful we're going to be when we have nukes. We will be able to solve all our problems with the push of a big red button. You're doing a great job, Tom. I love the last one as well. Gavel weapons data. So it's it's just implying that I have to use the nuke because I've got to gather the data for the weapon. You know, you know what I mean? Just a couple of nukes on the natives just to see how it works. We're just going to keep improving, Captain. Uh, he needs another bionic leg. And it'd pretty much be more machine than human at this point. And then maybe we can start playing around with some of these fancy chips we can get. Figure out making some more charge guns as well. I've had a look around. I think the assault charger sounds great. The experiments on the research reactor is coming along quite nicely. We're, we're almost done. <laughs> we're getting there. We can almost build our liberator. Also going to build another electric smelter so we can uh, smelt down all these steel chunks that I've got. They're building up quite quickly because there's a lot on this map, turns out. All right, I'm also going to finally do it and put some sun lamps down on these uh, fields. There we go. There's a load of uh, steps completed. Uh, what do I need to do now? Construct the liberator. All right. Stick that like there, shall we? Oh... That's going to be good. I've actually also got food as well, which doesn't usually happen on this damn island. <laughs> usually we're handing out small portions of soup and raw rice to eat. Oh, we've got over 103 bowls of stir fry. Jesus Christ. Everyone's going to think it's not actually me playing this game. We've also got some sprinklers set up as well. So hopefully that's going to make the sugar cane grow a bit faster. I'm not really sure how they work. I, do they just like... Oh, there we go. Uh... Did that do anything? I don't know, but we'll just pretend it did. I have to admit, this is a really inefficient way to be growing crops. These sun lamps consume so much energy. To be fair, I think we're going to need to turn the nuclear power plant up, because this uh, large chem fuel power plant isn't holding. Uh, Tom, get over to the nuclear power plant and uh, crank that up a little bit. We've also got loads of fuel rods. Why have we not got all them in? Get them out. Okay, we've got to turn the nuclear power plant off before we can load more rods. That's probably a sensible idea. Yeah, I don't care. You might get a little bit ill from the radiation, but get over it. Captain's doing it himself. What an absolute unit. Load this reactor up with all these damn fuel rods. All right. Now, let's, uh, let's get this nuclear reactor back online. All right, start. There we go. All right. Well, we now have a grid excess of 30,000. So uh, I think we put enough fuel rods in the nuclear reactor. God damn it. This liberator has literally consumed all of my steel. 650. That leaves me with 190 steel now. How much does it cost to make a nuclear bomb? Like I said, though, the sugarcane fields are back up and running. We are back to producing rum. Ah, oh, she's almost done. God damn it. Stabbins, get back over there. You will finish that nuclear react... Uh, nuclear... Missile liberator thingy majiggy. Oh, there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Let's give her let's give her a desert camo. Oh. Oh god, that looks good, doesn't it? Alright, now we just need to uh make the nuclear bomb. I made that charge gun, the what was it assault charger? But then I forgot that my electric smelter is set to smelt like every weapon down. It's this one I think. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they just made it and smelled that bitch right down. God damn it. All right, Orange Jaeger, go make me another one. <laughs> this time we won't smell it down. Just like, oh, this is a nice new gun. Let's just chuck that straight in the fire. Oh, it's an eclipse. Well, guess what? It's already a long night, so it doesn't make any difference. It's been nighttime for 1.4 years. I'm, I'm going to start making some of those steel shroom trees as well. Maybe that will help bring in some steel. Growing steel mushrooms i'm not quite sure how it works but it will be fine haha we are harvesting our first sugar cane the rum production's back baby we're uh our colony wealth isn't really going up 
that much at the moment, but at least it's going up. It's not going down anymore. Here we are, though. The rum production is back into full swing. Look at him go, Captain and Deke, just like the old days. Right, have your stir fry, Captain. Now get back to work. All right, that's eight full barrels of rum being produced. That's good. That's real good. We also have made our assault charger. Yep, that's pretty good. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that. <laughs> Here comes another batch of sugar cane. Hopefully, we're going to be able to fill up all these barrels. Well, that'll be good. That'll be real good. To be fair, the rate it's going, we might actually have to build some more fermenting barrels. I have to admit, that's just one tragedy waiting to happen. Just imagine if one incendiary shell hit all this. I think I'd actually cry. Like, I think I'll just make a 10 minute video of me just crying as I watch it all burn. Well, I guess we just sit back now, wait for the rum to be produced, and then we sell it and make a lot of money. To be fair, I got enough to call the military industrial trader over. I think that he buys rum. So if I make like a massive stockpile of rum, call him over and then try and sell it all to him. And then I'll buy the plutonium and then we should be all good. Oh god, it's an aurora. I thought, I thought the long night was over for a second then. God, the game cucked me. Oh, I got my hopes up. I was like, oh my god, it's over. But it's not. It's just an aurora. God fucking damn it. God damn it, Randy. Play with my heart like this. I can't handle it. Ah, there we are. Back to the... Just, just back to darkness. Oh, oh, 80 raiders? Why are they coming and raiding the Rum Island? Do they really think they're going to raid us? Oh yeah, it's sappers as well. So they're only going to send one person forward and the rest are just going to bounce backwards and forwards like that. <laughs> you know what, let's just go plant Stebbins on the 90mm flat cannon. They're, they're starting to get into range for that. Whenever you want. There we go. Oh, all right. That's enough of the flat cannon. I think we can just leave Captain just to murder all these guys now one by one. I love how he's missing these people here and still hitting people at the back over here. The captain might as well just go to bed because a lot of them are just going to bleed out and fall over. And I don't think they're actually going to reach the base. So, there we go. Told ya. They're going to run. I don't even, I don't think they even got anywhere near the base. That's, this is as far as they got. Ah, some of the rum is done. There we are. The rum production has officially restarted. There we go. Look at that. Little, that little peak there. We're coming back. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this. Oh my god. The long night. It's over. It's finally over. Oh my god. It's daylight. Oh my god. This is amazing. I've never been so happy to see... Oh, what? Psychic Bloom? What the fuck? A long forgotten entity change of very genetical structure of the local flora. While the sky is filled with a seemingly endless aurora, colorful flowers start sprouting everywhere. All pawns will gain a positive mood buff for the time of the event, rap and the rapidly spreading flowers will overgrow everything, including your fields. Oh, for God's sake! So yeah, we've now gone from the long night to aggressive flowers, I guess. What does a green light mean on a nuclear reactor? Tom, get over there. I don't like the look of this green light. Ah! Oh, we can process it now. All right, let's do that. Let's turn the nuclear reactor off. Can we stick it in there? Ah, load the plutonium reactor. Ah, we can make our own. All right, let's see what we can make. So we can make alloys, and then we can make all these sort of molten weapons. Whatever the hell that is. A super heavy anti-material rifle combined with extreme firepower. Ah, oh, you know what? Some of this stuff might actually come in handy. Zotic's good trader. Captain, get over there. Maybe he'll buy my rum. Oh, God damn it, he will buy my rum. Oh, this, guy, this trader's got so much good stuff. Oh my god, we could buy another telescope. A buzz on in my favorite song is playing in a Broadway bar. Then you... Oh god, mech hive. 14 mechs. Oh, you idiots. Oh, what the? Really? Anderson just got his head blown off from the turret. Getting buried. To be fair, it was only Anderson. Anderson didn't really do a whole lot. Oh, really? A defoiler ship now? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Six centipedes? What the hell do I do against six centipedes? All right, that's the siege gun research. So I think we need one of those as well. <laughs> Make me a siege gun, damn it. All right, I generally don't have enough advanced component for the siege gun, which is very annoying because I think that would have really benefited us during this fight. But it's all right. We've got plenty of time. It hasn't reached the colony yet. We've got the heavy turrets out, which is good. Got a flat cannon that's moved up. Yeah, I'll make the two advanced components we need for that siege gun, actually. All right, well, we've started production on our siege gun. I had recorded about 10 minutes worth of gameplay, but 
it did corrupt, so you're just gonna have to take my word on it that I made those advanced components for real. Also, you might notice a little difference in the video quality resolution or some shit about this time. People who follow me on Twitter will know why. I've got a brand new monitor. Damn it, Orange. Stop making love. Go and make my siege gun. Get over there. Make me big gun that shoots big missiles, please. The psychic bloom has ended. Okay, then. I didn't get attacked by endless hordes of aggressive flowers. I just got a bit of seaweed and grass. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot how long these heavy auto turrets take to build. I'm gonna be dead by the time they're done. It's alright, though. Only three more days until my plutonium processor has processed me some pl plutonium. Hopefully enough to make a bomb. Oh, there it is. The siege gun. Uh, excuse me, Black. Are you gonna go and try and hunt a tuna with that siege cannon? <laughs> nice. I think it's time we upgraded the colony as well and started making stew instead of stir fry. It's finally time to put the stir fry to rest and advance to the next tier. All right, boys. This is uh, this is our final night before we go to battle. Tomorrow we are gonna lose some people. We will have some casualties tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. Also, one day to our plutonium processor. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Hit him, boys! Hit him with everything we got! Oh, God, we got a man down! Oh, <laughs> God, Deacon wants it down! Get that bloody mech with the cannon! Come on! Oh, there's another one down. All right, last one. Oh. Unfortunately, we lost Watson and Deke. Uh, they, they got hit by an inferno turret, and that little outpost was taken out, but... Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what is done. The plutonium processing. Thingy majiggy. Go go get that plutonium from it. Six? Is that it? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we got some nuclear waste as well. Does that mean I've got to put it in the sea? Right, we need another military industrial trader. Can we, can we call another one? Ah, uh, I gotta wait another 2.9 days. God damn it. Let me have the bomb, Randy. Let me make this damn bomb. Two seconds. One second. There we go. Okay, the trader's gonna arrive in two days. He better have about 50 plutonium on him. Or I'm actually going to cry. I think it's 41 we need precisely. But I will cry if he doesn't. Poor Orange, man. He's single-handedly trying to keep this colony together. He's making all our weapons, our fancy toys. And now he's trying to keep the brewery running. <laughs> Dare I say we might be making too much rum. There is just an endless train of sugar cane being pumped into this storage. <laughs> we have got, what? 831 bottles of rum now? <laughs> the stash is building up very quickly. All right, that's all the parts needed. Just need the nuclear warhead. That's all I need now. Come on, military industrial trader. Please don't cuck me. I, I, I need this. Oh, there he is now. No, he's only got 17. Oh, but he is selling a nuclear warhead, but I do not have enough money for it. I'm not really sure what I do at this point. I think I'm just playing the waiting game now until I can get another military industrial trader. To be fair, I could just crank the nuclear reactor all the way up. Let's do that. Screw it. Let's, let's play a dangerous game. Let's just crank the nuclear reactor all the way up. Get them processing nice and quickly. Oh no. Someone's just given up. Why would you give up? Come back. You can't leave Rum Island. Stebbins as well. This man just isn't going down. Get him! Um... What the hell? You... What did you do to him? I, I wanted you to beat him up, not kill him. Jesus Christ, man. What did you... Who killed him? Who did it? Captain used his bionic arm. <laughs> it smashed in his head. Colony Wealth is still trickling up. We've had a few hiccups where we've uh, lost people, but it's still getting there. We might overtake our peak at some point. Damn it, Randy's sending bugs at me. He's trying to slow me down. He can't stop me from getting nukes. I'm only 10 hours away from calling the trade ship. You can't stop me with your puny bugs. Now, to be fair, those bugs are generally having a real bad time. I don't think they're going to be causing me any problem. Yeah, that's them pretty much dealt with now. Captain, go put your siege gun away. We, do we, we don't need it. All right, let's call this trade ship in. Oh, we've got to wait eight seconds. There we go. All right, she's going to take two days to arrive. I haven't really done a whole lot while waiting. Uh, all I've really been doing is watching people produce rum, setting up a few hunting orders, so we keep the stew flowing, and that's about it, really. Now, uh, yeah. 
You just gotta wait two more days now until we can have nuclear bombs. Or, I hope we do. I have enough silver to buy a bomb just in case. She doesn't want to sell me any plutonium. But she better just have a goddamn bomb. I just want to use the nuclear bomb. That's all I want to do. I've been waiting so goddamn long. Oh, there she is. Come on. Go, Captain, go. Please, sell me nuclear warhead. <gasps> she has a nuclear warhead. Give me that. I'll take that. Plutonium, I'll take that as well. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business. Quick, go load the Liberator. Go stick the nuclear bomb in there. There we are. Strategic missile ready. <laughs> we finally done it. Let's go fire a nuke at that fucking island. Fuck you and your fog generator. Yeah. Yeah, how'd you feel now? Bitch. <laughs>